Hello, I am Bo Grzeski. Today we will be exploring Padlet. It's an app and a website that can be used to be collecting resources and brainstorming ideas. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos, such as getting started with Padlet, by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. If you haven't watched our Getting Started with Padlet video, check out the basics for using this tool. But right now, I'm going to show you how to use Padlet as a canvas. Once you sign in, you want to pick Make a Padlet, and for this demonstration, we're going to pick the Canvas Padlet. There are other types of Padlets out there. You're going to see your plus button in the bottom, and that's how you first add your content. Give it a unique title, that's so it appears nice and bold. For you say something, you can add in your additional materials that you would say. Along the bottom, you have all these options. Since this is the iPad version, it's going to look a little bit different, but I could type in a website, and then I can post a website, and it appears a preview image of that website. When we added our content last time, we ended up hitting the chain. This time, we're going to hit the magnifying glass button, and we're going to search for a particular word. It pulls up a Google image search, or you could search for videos, or some entertaining GIFs, audio examples, or even other websites. You can see that the website will get a preview for you, just like it did with the Google Meet link. But nice how it adds in a little bit more information there from dictionary.com. Another thing you can hit is the camera button on the bottom since this is the iPad. It's going to ask for access to my camera. I'll take a picture and I could add it in that way. And you can post that as well. Once you hit the three dots for a post, it gives you even more options that you can add. Let's check out the draw one, which is a lot of fun. And again, I'm using this on my iPad, so the buttons are going to look a little different. But I can draw directly with the iPad tools. Once I hit done, add that picture and I can post the drawing that I just made. I'm going to hit the three dots again to show you that you can do even more differentiation by posting with audio. And you give access to your microphone and you can give an audio response as well. Once you are done with your recording, you can hit the pause button and then play back and save. Something else you can add by adding the three dots are some of these other features that you can check out, such as a file. I like to go into my Google Drive. I go into browse all my stuff and pick a specific location of my Google Drive and now I can attach a file to it where people can respond to a Google Drive file that I have up, like this Google uh, drawing that I made. So now you have all these different posts. What I would normally do is tell the students to hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner of each post and they have even more settings. This is where they can go back and edit, but here we want to play with the color. I probably tell my students, especially this was across multiple groups, each group should have a different color. And they can do that by hitting the three dots and picking their color at the top of each one. And then you have the ability, since this is a canvas, to move your posts anywhere that you want on your canvas. Once you have your posts where you want them, hit the three dots again, and now you want to choose Connect a Post. You can label one connection at a time and connect that. This could be a great way to diagram some ideas, look for common threads, or really try to group your thoughts together by connecting to another post you can have multiple connections to one post as well. When you're ready to hit share your canvas, hit the share button up top and you'll have all these other options. The broadcast one is really neat because you can broadcast via Bluetooth. You can also export it as a stagnant picture or a link or just send that directly into Google Classroom. For more on sharing, check out our previous Getting Started Padlet video. When you're all done, you can hit done, take it back to your main Padlet screen, and you'll also see all the Padlets that you have created. With the free account, you only get three Padlets. Thanks! Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode.
Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast, podcast, and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.